Nice, and we're connected. Do a little test chat. Make sure we're streaming, and we are streaming. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to another live stream. Today, today, what are we today? We are July 20th at 12 p.m. PDT 2020 and we're doing a live stream on making liqueur okay <laughs> and we're in the kitchen today we're not at the cabinet um, because I it's summer it's uh, and there's a lot of amazing fruit out there so I ended up buying a, or we ended up buying a whole bunch of fruit right I haven't, none of these are picked uh, towards the end of summer or probably in about a month and a half or so we're gonna go blackberry picking so once we go blackberry picking we're gonna do a blackberry liqueur as well but uh, half of these fruits here are gonna be local organic fruits that we got and uh, the other half is probably local but I'm not so sure if it's organic or not <laughs> okay and the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to top up some of the liqueur that I brought over from the liqueur cabinet okay just a little bit and uh, we got a lot of liqueur making to do because I got two 60 ounces uh, to make liqueur with okay I'm just gonna make sure notifications went out slowly this is uh, Twitch is being slow with notifications. And while we wait for people to roll in, let me tell you who I am, what I'm doing, um, and what this is all about. And if you're interested, uh, if you're watching this video after the live stream, because we're live streaming on Twitch, we do have a whole bunch of other liqueur videos uh, that we've done. Okay, I mean, We have a liqueur playlist on uh, YouTube, and half of those videos for the last couple of years that we've done, Maybe all of them are on uh, BitChute. I can't remember when the first liqueur video was that we did. I think it was uh, four years ago, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I forget the time frames on these, right? But uh, what do you call it? Uh, let me give you the lowdown. If you want to follow this work, if you want to know who I am, what I'm up to, and whatnot, Patreon is where you want to be. You can follow the work there. You don't need to. Uh, commit yourself to supporting this project with funds you can just follow i don't put anything behind paywalls i don't uh, you know I, it's all creative commons share and share alike so you can just follow and if you like what we're doing uh after a while and if you do have the means supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to do so on charter days how are you doing good evening from the uk hope all is well brother doing good doing good been eating a lot of fruit and loving it right that's one thing that I look forward to about the summer is the fresh fruit that we get in, especially local stuff, right? Because uh, it's that much sweeter. Um, they don't need to take the fruits off the trees as early because they don't need to travel a long distance for them to ripen along the distance, right? So you're basically getting very, very uh, fantastic fruit. Elder God, how are you doing? Let's get you. <laughs> We are live streaming this on Twitch, by the way. Twitch.tv backslash chicholive. C H Y C H O L I V E. That's drunk for you, Mary. <laughs> funny. And uh, if you want to participate in these uh, live streams as they're happening, uh, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay. And uh, for those of uh, who are coming on Twitch, who are following on Twitch, who are subscribing on Twitch, who are supporting through Twitch, thank you very much for the support. Love it, love it. I've got a nice, nice crowd here. How many liqueurs are you making today? I got. Uh, I've I've washed all the fruits. I washed some of the uh, the ones with skins on last night, right? And I left them out with cloth on on, on top, so you know, you don't know what's flying around. So just cover them up, right? Because they're all washed. Uh, the other fruit I washed this morning and that's covered up as well. We have I put out the pictures on uh, on Patreon uh, And Twitter Gabs Minds VK and LO and Parlor, right as well as uh, YouTube I think we got one two three four five. We've got about seven different types of liqueurs. We're gonna make today We're gonna stock up. We're gonna stock up. It's a good time to stock up Bot Wesley, how are you doing? 
no notifications again time to campaign yeah that's what i figured uh which is you know if notifications go out a little later which is okay it gives me time to do the intro i think those people who are watching this live they're all waiting uh, uh usually to do the uh, to get into the business right i had to work for uh, for 40 more minutes so i won't be able to chat much but you are playing uh playing in a big oh, awesome i got to know you got the notifications awesome 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 uh oops i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gabs minds vk hello on parlor it's a part of our process to decentralize and make sure we're on multiple platforms just to make it easier for you know, to know what it is that we're up to and we do share additional information on those platforms and all the links will be in the description of the video okay got lucky to catch the stream no notification either okay okay wesley um hopefully it's going out to everyone slowly we'll get people rolling in because i know a lot of people have been looking forward to the stream right do you mix fruit or stick to one uh, for each other uh, we've done mixes before here's one that i did uh we did the last liqueur stream it's uh kiwi and mandarins right i just brought it out because i'm going to top it up initially the i think it was two stream two liqueur videos ago initially it was uh it wasn't as good after a month of tasting it wasn't as good i added a little bit more sugar and it started tasting delicious right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to top this up just make sure the fruit is covered right uh, before we get into making the fresh batches but today i'm not going to mix anything all of them are going to just going to be unique individual fruits i thought about mixing the oranges and lemons i'm going to do oranges and lemons but i think i'm going to do them separately I think I'm gonna do it separately. Just Discord notification so far. Oh, it's only Discord. Intrepid, how are you doing? Good afternoon, Chicho. Hope all is well, my friend. Doing good, doing good. Um, aside from that, we do upload the audios where we don't have uh, any visuals taking place. It's just open discussion stuff. Uh, we will be uploading those to SoundCloud. SoundCloud.com backslash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to part, listen to you know the discussion taking place and whatnot, uh, the audios will be there because a lot of people have asked me over the years to provide this stuff in audio format. I haven't been uploading things like this onto SoundCloud yet because I'm sort of maxed out right now. But uh, once I get certain things sorted out we might do a little bit of catch up and upload all these audi audios or just start uploading the audios okay orange and lemon will fail <laughs> funny twitch notification uh has been has been sent okay awesome that's good actually we're at the end of uh, uh my intros basically and uh we will be uploading this video to youtube and bit okay and uh, everything's going on bitchu technical difficulties permitting and uh, most of the stuff is going to go on youtube for now uh sensors permitting right and if you are on youtube supporting this work by joining youtube membership is a great way to support this project as well as following linking sharing talking chatting and uh, sending out good vibes right Woo! so excited here comes the crowd the cheryl how are you doing x how's life are you guys looking forward to the liqueur video? Cheryl, are you going to be making at the same time? Zirik, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho and Chad. Hope everyone's well. Yeah, what's up, Chicho? Good evening, good evening, Felix Lisp. Sanguku, how are you doing? Uh, before we get started, I'm going to pour myself a drink, right? Uh, I got my ice already laid out. I already had a minor drink well i'm gonna have another drink okay um what should i have i'm gonna do actually i had the crab apple earlier on i'm gonna stick with the crab apple for now for now touching jason how are you doing good afternoon this is a crab apple i didn't put the date i did put the date this is uh added sugar one cup uh, in 2018 this is crab apples i picked um 2015 or something like this let me take off these notification stuff uh, or these uh, things they keep on forgetting i keep them leave them up there dun, dun, dun. so i'm gonna have a little bit of crab apple 
you guys zero counter i know not too much counter space so all the cooking streams that you guys see so you're getting the angle usually the cooking streams this way right the counter space here is very limited and this is sort of a bar on wheels that i move around right when i need to um, so all the cooking streams where you see me doing a lot of cooking streams <laughs> i'm working with minimal counter space we get a lot done with minimal counter space right which is pretty cool which is pretty cool let me show you this crab apple right fantastic a super delicious game very tasty very tasty indeed <laughs> uh, coolio the strawberry liqueur what's up with the strawberry liqueur no da, 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 da. my strawberry liqueur should be ready for taste test on friday i also plan to go and get more fruit to fill uh the other two mason jars with i'm thinking blueberry liqueur we got blueberries here as well next but want to get it from a farmer's market well yeah and get unsprayed blueberries if they're not unsprayed blueberries they spray a lot in general it's one of the fruits they spray a lot so get unsprayed right cheryl no unfortunately you're not going to be making liqueur i have jars set aside but no fruit oh no i think it'll be a weekend project for sure cherries uh the herbal herbal stuff let us know how the herbal stuff goes i got some cherries here we're going to do and after seeing your apricots i'll have to try them and some plums oh nice plums is delicious salute everyone salute liqueur videos are definitely my favorite i'm not 18 yet so i'm trying to persuade my parents into letting me make some some of my own with lemons it is medicinal you know let your parents know uh but you should you know you should be waiting until your legal age before you start drinking <laughs> greetings lucio how are you doing uh, Petro, she no filo, Lucio, Lucio Petro, she no filo. Zurich, how are you doing? I'm 19 and still legally can't make any. Yeah, you're in the States, eh? Canada, Alberta, I think is 18 and the rest of Canada is 19. <laughs> Thank God, come to the UK. Hey, Chicho, Island King, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Skylo chicho greetings i can't stay got to clock in to work looking forward to seeing this tonight okay awesome i'll have it up on uh it'll be available on twitch to watch but uh on youtube and bitshoot it probably won't be up for a few days okay i'm sort of got a backlog going uh 21 in us 21 in the us yeah graham how are you doing your rating it's like Luci Lu Lucius Joseph Lu Lucius Joseph Petronich son. <laughs> okay, awesome. Lucius Joseph. Should we call you Joseph? Is there a Joseph in there? There's no Joseph. Patronage. Nice. Ready. Felix. I can't. Uh, I can't say I've waited until legal age to drink. If I'm being completely honest, but only a few times with close friends cool and it should be enjoyed i think yeah make sure uh, you maintain very important ding bobber how are you doing should we start doing gang ding bobber i posted in the uh discord about a party du -du 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 -du. i i went oh i read that i heard you had a great time man i heard i heard it was really good so that's good i'm happy for you when i went to germany I could buy beer and i was barely 17 yeah liqueur video we love to see it indeed let's start doing grab chicho uh we just finished i thought i'd be done in time to hop over awesome awesome Graham. sit back relax i hope some of you guys are making liqueur as well i've never been uh, uh carded whenever i visit canada but bartenders in the u.s damn near card me when i order even water <laughs> 
<laughs> my first beer was in 1985. I was 12, six pack, and yeah, I won't, I won't tell you my history with, uh, with spirits. I'm in my 40s, and they still card me. Nice, Cheryl. That's good. Congrats. <laughs> Petrosino is a surname from Jose do Petrosino, which is in slavery. About 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 abolitionist abolitionist in uh, a nice century in Brazil. Awesome, that's cool, man. This is where the famous honey video was made. Indeed, Holden Who's, how are you doing? Okay, gang, let's start topping up some of the liqueurs. The topping up is gonna go fast, and then we're gonna start making liqueurs. I'm just gonna bring these guys over. Okay. This is crab apple we're gonna to top up. We're not gonna add any sugar to any of them. Okay. I'm just gonna to top them up just enough to cover the fruit. Maybe a little bit more. And then uh, and then I'll taste them after a while to see uh, to see if we need to add sugar. Because I'm not gonna fill it up to the top. And by the way, gang, I probably won't be able to read the chat too well uh, mods you need to take care of business take care of business you need slow mode you need slow mode you need to chill you need to chill you need to let it go you let it go okay i must know your secret drinking history for our guys <laughs> how about we do it uh i'll tell you on discord that way uh those youngins here will not be uh <laughs> will take care better care than i did better care than i did crab apple um elderberry cherry cherry mandarin and kiwi we're just gonna top it up okay and i got by the way again i got two 60 ounces okay that we're gonna use Gotta make liqueurs, gotta make liqueurs. cherry very nice and dark right coconut liqueur no I should try coconut liqueur and this one is just gonna use a little bit this turned out they're really delicious the kiwi and the, and uh, the mandarins initially not so good but later on it was fantastic Da, 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 elderberry. Let's put the right caps in the right places. This one is the cherry. Let's put the cherry in the right place. My labels are insane, right? I need to make some legit labels for these. Chicho, I'm drinking tea and pretending it's fruit liquor. It's not working well. <laughs> I got tea here somewhere too, but it's tea color here. It's tea color, right? Salut, salut. Salut, salut. And after doing this, I'm just gonna give it a, right, just a little shake. Just get the vodka mix in there. Make sure the lids are nicely closed, right? You don't want to shake it and everything spill out. The elderberry is amazing. Unfortunately, our elderberry tree in the yard, this was hand, 
picked ourselves, picked ourselves, local organic, not local, not organic. Actually, local kiwis, but the mandarins weren't local. That's good enough. Okay, let's put these guys aside. Actually, we can just put them over here. Let's put them over here. Maybe I should have bought uh, four or three six ounces, 60 ounces. This is Cornelian cherry picked at a near our house when we went for a walk found a cornelian cherry tree and ch -ch -ch -ch. pineapples really good really good. this this has been fantastic we've been going through it a fair bit and eating the pineapples really delicious good afternoon norman how are you doing What else we got? Blackberry, absolutely phenomenal, right? Chicho, you do a lot of different things. This is off topic, but do you shoot guns or like shooting? Um, I don't shoot guns. Um, do I like shooting? When I was a kid, I liked going uh, with uh, with a BB gun, with a pellet gun, not just friends and stuff, we did it. But I haven't done, it's not something that I actively seek right now. Uh, if this global situation gets a little bit crazier, I might, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind having bow and arrows. Bow and arrow would be cool. Archery. Actually, let's do these three large ones and then we'll bring out the next batch. Greetings, Dr. P. It's already open. What am I doing? <laughs> Trying to reach out and make the gear at the same time. This one's going to take a fair bit. We want to make sure we still have plenty of vodka to make our liqueurs. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. So we used up this much vodka so far, right? Just topping up the other bottles. So about a third of a 60 ounce. So about 20 ounces, right? Blackberry. And this is 10 by 10. This is just, I just wrote 10 by 10 on this Cornelian cherry. I should write it out. Here, I'll write it out that way. We know Cornelian cherry. And I should put down uh, topped up July 2020. Corn. Medium cherry. I'm just gonna put July 2020 V. So July 2020 V just added vodka, and all of these are vodkas. Okay. Uh, July 2020 V. July 2020 maybe. so we just added vodka July close them up and give them a shake some of these after tasting them I might add some uh, sugar I 
Actually, I'm going to pour myself a blackberry before adding more vodka. But that's okay. You want to be sort of gentleish with the blackberry. Blackberry vodka is amazing. Really, it, it's liqueur is amazing. It's it's the one I've probably made the most. I started off with making blackberry liqueur. Okay. Let me take a look at the color on this thing, right? Just dark. <laughs> it's so good. So good. Highly, highly recommend if you're going to make liqueurs. Okay. What else we got? We got blueberries and cinnamon. Ooh, 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 cinnamon. You know what? The cinnamon I'm going to leave on the side uh, because I want to have access to more drink. There's only this much in it so and it was really strong so what i'm going to do i'm going to put this on the side add liqueur add vodka to it later once i you know we're close to the end when i need another drink that way i have the full liqueur version and here's the blueberry this one needs a major top up it's way at the bottom okay This one will definitely need sugar, but we'll leave it alone, let it sit for a while. Why are we not at the liqueur cabinet? I like that cabinet. I do, I love it as well, but I need it to be in the kitchen. I need access to the sink most likely. I need to cut up some of the fruit. Um, it's gonna, it's just too messy there, right? In general, because we're going to, the other thing is we're going to make a lot of liqueur today. Okay. We're going to make a fair bit of liqueur. So I do need the space. If it was one or two, uh, we could be, and we have done it. We have done it at the liqueur cabinet, but uh, I got like seven different fruits here. <laughs> seven or eight different fruits. First thing we're going to do, by the way, we did that part of it. So let's have a little sip. Salute. Crab apple liqueur, right? So delicious, so delicious. First one we're gonna make is strawberry. Now I have cloth over these because, you know, I got everything ready and I don't want, you know, if there's any bugs around and stuff to fly all over the fruit, right? So, Let's do strawberry first. Uh, should I show you, you know, all the fruit down here? Here, let me show it to you. Let you know what it is that we're doing. We're gonna make strawberry. We're making raspberry, blueberry, cherry, apricots, oranges, lemon, and apple. Okay, and we're gonna go in this order as, uh, as long as the vodka lasts. Apple is the last one we're going to make. Okay, so I'm just going to cover these up again. And we're going to make it. Take a look at these strawberries. No, you know what? Um, if we have any vodka left, uh, Eagle, if you have any vodka left, I have banana ready to go. Okay, but I wasn't going to peel the bananas and do all that jazz. We might do a small jar of banana because I want to taste, I want to see what it's like. Okay, here's the strawberries. All right, take a look at this. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> right, they're ripe, crazy ripe. Like, so good. So let me do this. 
I'm gonna bring this guy out. That way you'll catch things when we're putting the fruit in there. I'm just gonna put this under it. Oh, should I put this under it or a little cloth? Let's put a blue cloth under it. Strawberry, big thing of strawberry. This one, or should we make it on that one? I just want to make sure we don't run out of vodka, right? Well, let's see what we do. Let's put it in this one and we'll give it a shake because this should fill it up to about here, right? So we'll see how much vodka it takes. If I think it's taking too much and we need to preserve some of it, we will, okay? Now, the question is, how do we, what's the best way to get this in here? The best way to get this in here, let's see, let's do this, let's do this. Let's bring this out for now, let's see if we're gonna do it. And let's bring this out. One of these guys. You might not need this, which is a good thing. Okay. I don't want to damage the strawberries too much, right? They're very soft. Last time we made the strawberries, I made it in the um, 1.75 liter jar and we went through that thing like mad. It was too fast. So making a bigger jar, I'm gonna go a little slower maybe. This looks beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're being, what do you call it, raided by trolls or something. <laughs> Look at that stuff go crazy. Lots of hellos going on. Wow. Look at the madness. Let's check it out. I'm gonna check the chat as soon as we do this. Look at it go, look at it go. Let's see. Oh, we're being raided by a chat bot or something. I'm gonna turn off chat for a second. Until until it goes away. <laughs> madness, madness. <laughs> Look at this. It's definitely uh, some kind of body. Eh? You're crazy. That's fun, actually. Multicolored. We let it ride. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> it's just like, what's going on? We've never seen that before, actually. We've never seen that before. Chicho, good luck keeping up with the chat. I know, it. Eh? hilarious. The madness ended. Let's turn chat back on. That was fun. It was indeed, actually. But I didn't want to pe people uh, on... 
YouTube and uh, BitChute to get a little bit uh, annoyed by it. I never see, I've never seen that before either, Graham. That was interesting, Chicho. I noticed that my strawberry lose color after second collection. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they get paler, right? Uh, but they still retain the flavor. They're still good to go a couple of iterations. Is it normal? Yeah. So, gang, for this guy, I'm going to add one cup of organic cane sugar okay one cup of organic cane sugar that's it i mean look at this seriously i gotta show this to you look at the juice at the bottom of this thing right now right fantastic fantastic so we're gonna add one cup of organic cane sugar And then we do vodka. Okay. Okay. Let's give it a little bit of a shake. Here, let me put the lid on it so I don't get splash when I'm giving the shake. That way things will settle in, right? And the sugar will get a chance to dissolve a little bit. Okay, take a look. So it's settled down and the vodka was about to hear and now it's gone up to here because the strawberries are selling in. So I'm gonna just gonna fill it up. Shaky baby. So glad to have strawberries back. Nice. <laughs> that, is, that should keep us going for the year, right? Look at this beautiful absolutely beautiful let's put the lid on this here there's a little bit of actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this here give it a shake and then sort out the strawberries that are sticking to it basically covered up take a look covered up to the top look at the color on that already so so nice so nice right look at that strawberry liqueur so let's make a little note for ourselves Strawberry liqueur, strawberry, July 2020, okay, one cup sugar, and about 20 ounces of vodka, approximately 20 ounces vodka, okay, that's all. That way we know what it is, right? My scratchy writing. <laughs> Code. Let's just put that on here. One day I'll make legit labels on here, right? Let's put a little tape on it. Nice. Teach your labels. Let's put this guy. That's our strawberry. Let's make a little bit of raspberry. Okay. These are local organic raspberries, and that was local organic strawberries. Okay, from a farm we picked up um, a 
couple of days ago. Let's put this guy back. Oh, I was going to sort out the... Let's make sure no strawberries are sticking out. Not a little bit here. Good enough. This can go on the sink. Cover up the fruit. Boop. This one we're going to put in a small bottle. We'll put it in this guy. It's, it's not even going to fill it up. It'll probably be to about here. Yeah, the vodka and the sugar, they both act together as a preservative. The, the fruit can stay there for a long time. Like, we're going to make lemon liqueur, right? This is the, if you guys remember, this is the bottle I use for my lemon liqueur, right? And this is the one, you know, I had it filled up to here with lemons. And I made this batch of lemon liqueur uh, 10 years ago, right? And this is what's left of it. Because I just decided that it was time to start a new batch. So what we've been doing is drinking, there's a little bit of liqueur left in there, right? So we're just finishing off the liqueur. And the other thing we're doing is... We have this in the, by the kitchen on the side, and whenever we want to have a lemon drink, like a lemony refreshing, either with a vodka or soda, we just take a couple of these, two, three of these things, put it in a glass and just with ice, and it gives it a lemony flavor and we drink it. And it's very refreshing. It's got minimal alcohol, right? So for a summer drink, this is fantastic. And you can eat the lemons, right? 10 years, okay? 10 years and the sugar and the alcohol preserves it right and it breaks apart now it just and it's got a strong alcohol flavor to it this is one quart of raspberries exactly Cheryl right Whew. strong all right this is one quart of raspberries, the you know square bucket things that they sell. All right, we bought two quarts. One we're just eating raw, and this one we're going to turn into liqueur. Chicho published a book on a few of them, concerning plants, gardening, making booze, collecting minerals, crystals, comics. I buy them. Okay. <laughs> Cycling eagle eagle and cycling at some point we will be i will be st start publishing things cookbook is definitely in the works mathematics is definitely in the works uh, and the cookbook would include these guys right and i've washed all of these by the way right so let's do it this way i'm just going to take some foil okay. and just make a funnel well, not a funnel, but uh, what do you call it? Sort of a back wall that I can put things into. And thank you for <laughs> wanting to buy whatever we put out. And it will all be linked with mathematics. Counting the calories and, um, and whatnot, right? You just lock it in there, right? And just pour this in. Watch it. You gotta be careful. Raspberries are a little tricky because they stick together. Nice. A quart fills it up nicely. Look at that. Awesome. Raspberry. I haven't made raspberry before. Looking forward to this one. Like seriously, the fruit this year went to the farmer's market is phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> Twitching Jason. <laughs> Chicho brand of liqueur. Maybe to raise some funds, I'll put these in little jars and sell them off, right? That'll slowly fund uh, a new editing computer system coming out. 
in this guy we're only going to add about a half a cup here It is tart though. Like these raspberries are very tart. Mm. That one wasn't bad. Uh, the strawberries, like when you're making liqueur, by the way, taste the fruit, right? Because the recipe has to adjust according to how ripe the fruits are or how tart the fruits are, right? I'm going to add half a cup. This is one cup. Take a look. This better be half a cup. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's half a cup. So this is one cup, this is half a cup, right? I'm just gonna add half a cup to this one because it's a smaller jar, right? And I rather have it a little bit tart, uh, tangy, because raspberries are tangy, right? Nice, that's plenty. And usually I go by eyesight as well. So let's do the raspberry. Close it up, make sure it's tight, give it a shake, right? Take a look. Nice. I can't wait to taste the raspberries. Never done raspberries before. I think it'll be phenomenal. Lots of reflection, lots of reflection. Okay. Let's put a label on here. Raspberry July 2020. Half cup sugar, one quart fruit. Okay. Let's put this guy on it. And for these ones, I'm putting it on the lid because when I take off the lids, I don't want to put the wrong lid on top of the wrong thing. What is your favorite liqueur? I love the lemon. I love the blackberry, really. The blackberry, you find good blackberries. Wow, right? Uh, they're all so unique, really. Like the crab apple, <laughs> it's phenomenal. Like really, and it really depends on your taste. Like after dinner, you've had a good meal. Lemon liqueur, oh phenomenal so good the this guy the mandarin and kiwi after dinner very good very good if you have a little bit of a cold or feel a little bit you need warming from the inside cinnamon so good so good right I'll show you the cinnamon. As soon as we finish this, I'll show you the inside of the cinnamon. I think the raspberry one will be fantastic. Raspberry. Let's put this guy here. Okay, next. We're gonna make a new batch of blueberries going and a new batch of cherry going. So let's make the blueberries right now. Okay. And this blueberries, uh, it's more than a quart. It's, uh, I don't know how much this was. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> By the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs, right? Uh, apologies if I'm not 
catching all of them I live in Prague Czech Republic have you ever had the Slova Vichy it's plum brandy yeah yeah and I've been to Czech Republic I've been to Prague beautiful city beautiful city let's do blueberries here this is gonna be more than this so we'll just fill this up and whatever's left over we're gonna eat we still have some blueberries in the thing um, but plum brandy I've had I don't know if I've had Czech plum brandy but plum is Cheryl says amazing amazing Oh, dangerous, dangerous. Where's my filter thing? Oh, what do your partner think about all this liquor you're making? He loves it, right? Like, we don't sit there and just drink every night. Like, you gotta be reasonable. It's, cons I consider it to be food, right? so we're not we're not going crazy and drinking a bottle a night we're maintaining right we're enjoying appreciating let's pour this in with a with a spoon Whoa, look at that look at that almost lost And I've taken off, like with the with the strawberries, we took off the green parts of it, and with the cherries, I've taken off the stems of it and stuff like this. Love blueberries. Planning on making blueberry jam this week. Nice blueberries is amazing. So good for you. Just make sure you get unsprayed blueberries. Maybe it's will take all this. Nice. Our plate is catching a whole bunch, so that's great. Fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, no pesticides. Uh, no uh, pesticides. Yeah. Uh, blueberries, from what I understand, they spray a lot because bugs love them, right? So, and some of those pesticides they're using, they're pretty nasty. Uh, you don't want to consume that stuff. Even though they say, oh, it changes whatever and washes away and whatnot. You don't wanna, you don't wanna do that. Catholic traditionalist, how are you doing? I'm gonna put half a cup in this one, okay? Just half a cup. I might add more to this later, but right now I'm happy with half a cup. Nice. We've almost gone through 60 ounces of vodka. Is that a big bucket of uh, sugar? Uh, yeah. Right? 
it's a big bucket of organic cane sugar so I should have shown you I should have shown you guys that earlier but it's something if you've seen the previous liqueur videos uh, you know the routine right yeah you can buy this is actually I just we just transferred over this is from a bigger ba bag of sugar that we have in uh, storage right no no salt I've never tried it, actually it might be good if you guys want you guys try and let me know if it's good to add salt but I don't want salt in everything right I think in general as a society we consume too much salt so I try to reduce the amount of salt that I'm using Cheryl I can't remember if you've talked about this in previous liqueur streams but have you tried the honey if so do you have a favorite fruit to use with honey I was thinking of trying peach peach and honey would be amazing but I haven't used honey because honey is so expensive right uh, and I like we buy a lot of honey but we eat a lot of honey um, so I haven't tried honey and the honey you would have to make sure if you make it you would have to really put it under Sun make sure it's uh, uh, it dissolves right honey would be amazing sure I'll try it out let me know we should we could use uh, you know I've thought about using a honey on the smaller jars um, maybe we will in the next one just to see just to see but in general honey is so expensive right now blueberry Kathy Trudeau says honey is key in making meat yeah meat I love wow have you uh, have you ever attempted homemade no I've never tried it I would love to try it at some point but again honey is I find and meat by the way I think you can make with the scraps of the top of the honey uh, where they usually don't sell it for eating so meat you would make with the you know the the wax and the bee pars and the they scrape off the top part right i think anyway july 2020 half cut sugar meat is i like meat and i like uh, uh chung it's like kombucha but kombucha is made with sugar chung i think it's called chung is made with honey Catholic traditions four of my brothers keep bees so I have a plenty really ready supply oh man Catholic traditionalists they all keep bees man you got access to like the bee farm yeah you I've, I've used pomegranates to make liqueur and i have some uh do i have some left no I, was, uh, I don't know if i have some left but yeah we've made pomegranates to make liqueur and i highly recommend pomegranate liqueur it is phenomenal really good really good okay cherry let's make cherry hundred and fifteen dollars for 50 pound of organic sugar cool non-organic is 80 ish cool I would go with organic if you if you're gonna make something special like this well I only buy or <laughs> we only buy organic sugar we don't buy uh, any other type of sugar but if you're gonna make if you're gonna put the time in to make something amazing like this uh, get yourself organic sugar cherries look at these guys local cherries very good very good very nice that's not going to take all of it cherries this 
one, plum, apricot, lemon. We got oranges, apricots, lemons, and apple left after the cherry. Let's put it in one of these jars again. But that's pretty. You know what? Let's put it in this. I like this jar, it's pretty. Okay. The pickles, uh, legendary uh, Rob Boss, uh, they were good to go. Like the ones my partner made here. Let me show it to you guys. Like these pickles, she made a whole bunch of pickles, right? From the same farm, we've got uh, pickling uh, cucumbers and uh, got the onions and stuff and garlic, right? So she made these and we crack one open within five days, four days. <laughs> and it was amazing. We already polished off one jar and we're gonna keep on munching on this. Now the cherries, I'm just going to put in with hand. What do you use for uh, the tanning? Tannings, grape leaves. Uh, we just did, uh, just boiled them in hot water. And very short, like it didn't have to be long. <laughs> These are really big cherries. So it's like going to take a lot of vodka to fill this up. Look at that. Look at how much we got left. I like this jar though, so we make this. Let's see if we can make it settle. No, not settling much. I'm going to put half a cup in this. Mm. It's not really after what happens is after you make this it settles more right so I'm not gonna fill it up full of vodka I'm gonna put not even half a cup uh, let's say a third of a cup right so here's this I'm gonna put a third of a cup of vodka here uh, sugar here and I'm not gonna fill it up with vodka I'm only gonna put it halfway because what's gonna happen over time the chair the chairs are sort of gonna shrink and stuff but it's gonna settle down more Okay, so let's do that. That way we can fill up another bottle of this. Amigos, that guy. Adios, amigos. Let's crack one more. Good enough. So this guy, where is my lid? Where's my lid? We're making liqueurs. Gerald. I think that's Gerald. Yeah. Take a look. Now the lid is not on properly. Make sure you put the lid on properly. And this is a lid that doesn't completely seal. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of shake. And just let it sit. And I'll take care of the rest later once it shrinks down a little bit, okay? And I will be putting these in the on in the sun, on the sill, just for it to heat up a little bit and the sugar for it to dissolve. Can you drink it? Sure. I have liquor going here. There you go. Salud. This is crab apple liqueur. Let's make more cherry. Let's do another. Let's fill this up on it too. Okay. Oh yeah, let's put the label on that guy. We put uh, about a third of a cup of sugar. So a third of a cup of sugar. Cherry, July 20, 20, one third cup sugar. One third cup sugar. Let's put that guy on top of this.
this is what happens when you when there's earthquake there's liquefaction liquefaction right when the sediments from the bottom are shakes so rapidly it sort of acts like a liquid right and one of the things you see in uh, geology you see uh, rock formations where the fine sediments have settled settled down take a look and we have five cherries left we're just going to eat these ones third of a cup and vodka I'm just gonna take it halfway Our composting uh, bucket. To make liqueur. And what this does as well, it gets the vodka, you know, all the fruit to be sort of immersed in vodka, right? Preserves it. And this will settle down and immerse the, the fruit. We'll probably add a little bit more towards the end. What's drink is about 40% vodka. Hollywood fish, how are you doing? So cherry. 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 July 2020. Third cup sugar. Corinne, hey Chicho, hey Chad, how are you all doing today? Doing fantastic. Crab apples? When the ice is melted in the liqueur and it's not a strong flavor, it's really nice taking a nice sip. Right, man, Chicho, please help. I need a job. What do I do? What do you want to do? Like, what are you interested in? Let's put the cherries here for now. Like, if you like animals, you could try to get a job with uh, working with animals and stuff. Autistic, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. Last stream, I said, whoops, where'd you go? Last stream, I said the strawberry liqueur disappointed, but on the rocks, it's a lot better. Yeah, right. We're having some friends over, and I'm letting them taste while sitting around the campfire. Orange and strawberry flavor, everyone is liking it. Life is good, man. Awesome, autistic. Yeah, that's why I usually have it on the rocks. I do have it straight up every now and then. Like, for example, let me show you that. Let me show you this. Like, if you're feeling cold on the inside, sometimes it's nice to hit up a little bit of cinnamon liqueur, straight up, not on the rocks, right? So take a look at this. Right, 
take a look inside those are cinnamon sticks that i used when i made crab apples and applesauce right i think these are from the applesauce so these are cinnamon sticks that i used to make applesauce and i took them and i put them in a jar and didn't i don't think i added any sugar i just poured vodka oh, i might have added a little bit of sugar right did i make a note on this i didn't make a note on this right yeah i didn't make i should have probably made a note but if you need something to warm you up right and you don't eat the cinnamon sticks like look at this right look at that Oop. I'm totally reaching trying to get it focused let me come closer look at that ah, it doesn't want to focus but it is fantastic and you can just sip on it oh man so good so good can you uh liqueur in the fridge i have my pineapples and strawberries one in the fridge i've never done it in a fridge um but to make the liqueur cold you just add ice right or if you want to drink it cold, just keep it outside and put it in the glass and put it. I don't know. I've never done it in the fridge. That's I personally wouldn't necessarily put it in the fridge because you do want it to activate with the alcohol, right? <laughs> my hair, my beard. I do have a little bit of hair. Phenomenal. However, I'm going to get some ice and we're going to have a little bit more of this. It's nice and sunny outside. a little bit of and cinnamon amazing i put it in the fridge after having it out for a few oh yeah then that should be okay sleepy waves yeah 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 that should be okay oh yeah for sure a few months this is on his last breath Now we can add vodka to this. Okay, take a look. That's like draining it out. Beautiful. Beautiful. just a teensiest bit of sugar right like I'm adding like seriously like, like very little very little like that's half that's like one tenth of a cup one fifteenth of a cup right probably like one table uh, tablespoon right The cinnamon is good to have. It's medicinal. It's good for you. Okay. And let's just cover it up.
cup. Added July 2020. Okay, and give it a shake. Awesome autistic. I hope you guys have a fantastic time. I hope you guys have a fantastic time. Nice. That's good. See? Just fill it up. Enough just to cover it. Thanks, Gerald. I don't drink very much. No, and this is not my first rodeo. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching out for me though. I appreciate the suggestion. And I highly recommend. For me, I go through, I go sometimes months without even having a sip, right? But alcohol is not necessarily a bad thing. You just have to use it appropriately. Alcohol has been a part of humanity, our civilization, and pre this current civilization has been with humanity forever, right? Hey, by any chance, can you? Toes. Toes. I'm going to do this, okay? Just so the mods, no one takes any responsibility. Toes. Toes. Oh, you did. Okay. Oh, hold on. Toes. You're out. Just saying. Toes. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> you meant tomatoes. <laughs> Did you mean tomatoes, toes? Oh, you're lucky. Because I typed in the wrong thing. Be good toes. And it's okay to appreciate certain things the way you do. However, uh, it shouldn't be your only central focal point in life. There are amazing things in life you should be having. And you shouldn't be throwing it out there at a random. You should only be doing it with people who appreciate your love. Okay? How about a timeout, Toes? Should we do a timeout on Toes, gang? Ever made liqueur of cloud berries? Cloud berries? I've never tried cloud berries. Thank you very much, Cheryl. By the way, Cheryl, uh, next time, straight up ban. Okay? And I hope the mod's okay with that. Oh, you're very welcome, Gerald. And I'm sorry to hear that uh, uh, things didn't work out with you and your girlfriend, right? But sometimes it's, you know, as long as you learn from the experiences and you still appreciate each other and uh, you learn a lot from each other, uh, change is the only absolute in life, right? person at Twitch Prime so he's he's uh, he's been timed okay uncharted days just because uh, there's a Twitch Prime sub it doesn't mean um, anything goes in regards to uh, because he's 
Toes knows this, by the way, and I'm pretty sure he's still watching. Toes, you're walking a fine line, brother. Right? Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Apricots. 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 Let's do apricots. We gotta cut them up. So, I'm gonna bring out another cutting board. We're gonna cut the apricots in half. I'm gonna put my salut gang. Let's put these guys aside. Bring out our. Let's do some apricots. The apricots, lemons, oranges, and apples we're gonna have to cut, right? So let's put this guy here. We don't need this guy anymore. All covered up. And these guys we don't need. Here's our apricots. Okay. Take a look. Top Fiverr, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Apricots. Apricots. And they're pretty good. But they are a little bit on the tart side. The ripe ones were amazing. There were some ripe ones we ate right away. Okay. Thanks, Top Fiverr. Appreciate it. Let's cut these guys. Uh, we don't need a crazy knife for this. Actually, we do for uh, the. So let's just cut these in half. Now remember, apricots have the seeds in them, right? And in general, you don't even really need to. Let's see. If they're ripe enough, you can just split them. Right? You can just split apricots. Right? Okay, and just pull out the seeds, but I'm going to cut them in uh, quarters. <laughs> nice top fiber. <laughs> you appear, you do. Boom. <laughs> Snap. Mm, let's put these in the cup. Please. Let's break some of these up. I missed it totally. Oh, this one is super good. This one's not bad. I wouldn't say, I don't know if it's super good, but it looks pretty good. Squishy. Let's have an apricot. The reason I'm going to cut these in, basically I'm taking a half of a apricot. I'm going to cut them in half. So it's a quarter of an apricot and that's what I'm going to put in there. My personal favorite, I have, it depends on what I want, but I drink a lot of lemon. I drink, uh, or lemon is the one I drink the most, and blackberry, uh, strawberry went through crazy. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, that is really good. In BC, and these are local, in BC you have about two weeks when the apricots are in because apricots, um, they soften up really fast, they ripen fast. So for about a two week period in BC, um, when the apricots are in season, you can get phenomenal apricots like absolutely delicious an apricot seed there's something we do with apricot seed but i can't remember um, i gotta get the family recipe for it i can't remember what it was this is phenomenal we'll eat a quarter more So good. Mm. My God. Heavenly. 
<laughs> Cheryl, jeez, indeed. I can throw these halves back in here because we're going to cut them and then put them in the jar, right? Like, look at the color on that, right? Beautiful. And apricots are just amazing color. <laughs> look at this guy. So good, so good. Uncharted Ace, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Take out the little ends of the, just the stick part that's still in there, right? Man, I gotta find out what we did with apricot seeds, I can't remember. This one isn't as ripe, but We're gonna put them in here. We'll probably do two of these. Okay. And I'm gonna cut them in quarters. Actually, the big ones I'm cutting in uh, six. Fix. Hello, how are you doing? Chicho, my chart today, Chicho, will support your work on Patreon once I have some more stable funds coming. For sure, brother. Make sure you're taking care of business. You're taking care of yourself first before anything, okay? Uh, uh, but thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. You've never had apricots? Johnny. Oh, but they remind me a lot of peaches by their uh, appearance. Yeah, they're very much like peaches, but um, they're different. Ripen apricots, if you ever get a chance to pick peaches as well, any fruit really, off the tree ripe, just pick it and eat it. That's like heaven. So I'm cutting them into either quarters or one six. Right? Because we do eat these. When you're drinking the liqueur, as the liqueur goes down, as the vodka goes down the liquid, you can just pop the fruit. I can eat a peach for hours. Oh, elder god. Get them stacking. Yeah. Let's fill up another one.
And this apricot liqueur is going to be amazing. This guy's squishy too. I'm an apricot eating machine. I know. I love apricots. And dried apricots are amazing as well. Hmm. Look at this. We got some left over. We have some peaches here as well, but we didn't get enough to make liqueur. Okay. Let's see if we can put any more in this. Let's put a couple more. Let's cut these guys smaller as well. That way they fit more. in a container so they don't go bad right just keep the air oxygen away right there we got this much left half a cup uh, to each one okay I might kick it up later but right now half a cup is good should have put it in a, in a plate Charted Ace, it really depends on the sweetness of the fruit, of how much sugar I have. These ones aren't or weren't or aren't as sweet as, uh, they're not as ripe. So I could maybe add a little bit more sugar, but I don't want it just to be sweet. I wanted to get the apricot flavor out there. So right now I'm just adding half a cup. And then in these ones, probably in about three, four weeks, I'll have a little taste. If I think it needs more sugar to make it sweeter, I'll just add a little bit more accordingly, right? But right now I'm comfortable with just adding half a cup. Gerald, I'm back Chicho. Had to speak to my dad who is now 78, cool. And this will settle, right? Fantastic. Let's shake up this one. We got half a 60 ounce left, so we got 30 ounces of vodka left. Um, 
we're gonna make the lemon for sure and uh, we'll make the vodka as well I might get another uh, one of these bottles I'm not sure if we're gonna use up these ones but I do like the lemon in this one I think I'm just gonna use the lemon in that one do you drink the vodka or eat the peaches after three weeks yeah I usually taste it after three or four weeks just to see what it's like uh, sometimes after two weeks like strawberries I'm gonna taste after two weeks they're ready pretty fast Uh, the movie some great lines in that some great lines in that movie no it'll what happens you do later on when it settles down but as long as the fruit is has been sitting in vodka for a while it's good to go it can sit for a long time right but because these are new what's gonna happen is the fruits gonna settle and as as it settles its height is decreasing and it's going to displace the liquid the vodka so the vodka is going to rise so the fruit's going to settle the vodka is going to rise so the fruit doesn't need to settle take a look the fruit doesn't need to settle from here where is the can you see the liquid right there right so it doesn't need to settle from there to there it just needs to settle to here and the vodka will go up right and it will settle okay I think the apricots will be amazing. Let's put these guys. Okay, we need to cut up some lemons. So, let's cut up some lemons. And these lemons are organic lemons. If you're going to do this, do it with organic lemons. Okay. And I'm gonna cut them up uh, like slices, okay? I'm just taking off the sticks on the ends of these things. sure your handle for the knife is dry you don't want your handle to be wet and I'm cutting them about this thick right ah oh, smells amazing really it smells really good Oops. And I throw in the seeds as well. I don't de-seed it. Yeah, 
what? I want to sharpen the knife a little bit. Just dry it. We do have, uh, you know, these things to sharpen the knife, which is fine. They do a good job, actually. But I found this guy was doing a fantastic job of sharpening the knife. See how well we did with that. Nice. batch of lemon liqueur very nice very nice I like this jar this is the one I use for my lemons right let's just put these out of the way After we do this, I think I'm gonna have to go get some more uh, vodka. I don't think we have enough to, we definitely don't have enough to do the apple, that's for sure. But we'll for sure we'll do one, we'll do orange as well, because I think orange would be amazing. Our timing's not bad on this one. and I thought we still have some lemons left. I gotta give this a shake. Let it settle, bro. Fill it up for now. Uh, that way we know that, you know, we'll see how much vodka it takes. 
uh, because we definitely want to make sure we have enough vodka for the orange. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one cup of sugar in this one. One full cup. Okay. Yeah, one cup is good for now. Master West 2, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. This much vodka left and we're going to keep it for the oranges okay this is here let me show it so we got the vodka up to here and this will settle and it will be submerged enough Polymath. Fantastic. We got lemons back, baby. Woo. And this one, it doesn't seal tight, tight, right? So we have like a silicone seal thing here. Get this, do this, and then seal it up. That way I can give it a shake but I'm gonna do it over the sink okay and I'm gonna hold tight to this so. make sure the sugar dissolves a little bit okay. Sugar is still in the bottom, so I'm definitely going to put this on the windowsill for the sun to hit it and bake it a little bit and dissolve the sugar. Next, the oranges. Let's do the oranges. Let's get these guys a wash. Because they definitely want orange liqueur. liqueur before I don't know why I have no idea why I always went with lemon there you go. beautiful oranges large right. I haven't tasted them yet, so I'm not sure how tart they are, how sweet they are, but they look amazing. Look at that. Organic oranges as well. Okay. Let's check this out. Whoever. <laughs> That's going to be some fantastic tasting orange liqueur. Oof, 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 very good. Let's do. This part with the 
Size of these guys, <laughs> they're huge. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. I'm gonna cut these guys in half. That way they'll settle down in the what do you call it in the bottle as well. A little bit on the large side. Let's put it. I'm gonna put the orange in this one. Okay, it's a nice bottle. I like it. It's a smaller version of the strawberry. Right. Here's the strawberry. They look beautiful together. Nice. And I'll definitely be giving. Uh, the bottles uh, a wipe uh, just to get rid of the stickiness of them, right? So pretty, so pretty. Have you used grapefruit? No, I haven't. Grapefruit would be amazing. Grapefruit would be really good. And grapefruit goes fantastic with vodka. Wow, wow, wow. Let's give it a shake. Settle things down. Pomegranates, yeah, Coolio. We made pomegranates and it was fantastic. I highly recommend pomegranates. Pomegranates are so good, so good. You know what, this grape, this orange here is a little bit. Let me get rid of this part. That's the seed. I highly recommend. So good. I missed it this season. Okay. 
Yeah, that's almost to the top. That's good. That's good. Let's put this on the side. How much sugar? How much sugar? Let's put three quarters of a cup in here. Okay. Not a full cup, like a three quarters of a cup. See if our vodka is yeah, no apple vodka today. Nice, nice, nice. That's very good. Where's my lid again? Over here. Ooh. Lost the lid. <laughs> this thing is going to be amazing. I'm trying to think of other fruit to see if you've tried them. Kiwi, yeah, kiwi, banana, no, not yet. Mangoes, no. Watermelon, I bought two watermelons. I bought two gigantic watermelons. We we're going to make watermelon, but then. We went to the farm and they had like amazing strawberries and amazing raspberries and amazing cherries. So I didn't make watermelon. Should we make some watermelon right now? We got a little bit of vodka left. I was gonna add this to the lemon. Mm. Hmm. I, I haven't, Eduardo, I haven't seen it go bad yet and we've had liqueur that was like really old so decades uh, but you have to make sure that you are you're not letting the fruit sit outside of the liquid the the alcohol right so if this fruit is just sitting by itself and it's just evaporating then i'm pretty sure at some point it'll go bad right This is amazing. You know what? I'm gonna add the rest of the vodka to the lemon. Let's top up the lemon. Because the lemon is one that I drink a lot, right? If I was making uh, coconut liqueur, i try with white rum, ooh, instead of vodka. Thought you, yeah, Coolio with rum and coconut goes amazing together, right? But with vodka, maybe. But one of the reasons it goes amazing with uh, rum is because rum is very sweet, right? Vodka is not. So if you add sugar, then it pretty much does the same thing as uh, as the rum would, right? With the vodka. Vodka holds back time very well, yeah. Unless you're drinking a lot, then it really messes up time. Let's add it to the, the rest of it. Let's see if there's any of these guys need topping up. No, they're good. Let's add it to the orange. Fill up the orange as well. We used 120 ounces of vodka today. <laughs> Plus a little sipping from my part. Right. Salut, salut, gang. That's delicious. Okay, let me put these guys away. Should we line up what we got here? What we ended up, aside from the topping up. Do you always use the same type? I always use the same type of vodka. Um, you don't in general want to uh, switch up your vodka because the flavor will change up. Right. Let's see what we can place here so it looks good. Let's see what else we got. Whoa. We got strawberry. All right. 
orange, strawberry, lemon. We made two cherries today. Cherry. Cherry. <laughs> Let's put this like this. What else did we make today? Oh, we talked about the... Oh, we made a raspberry today. We made a raspberry today. Where do we put the raspberry so it doesn't... <laughs> we can't even do it. <laughs> there we go. We made raspberry today. Here, I'll take this off. Right? We made raspberry today. Oh! We made apricot today, two apricots. And we made two apricots. Is that all we made? Oh, what's this one? Oh, and we made blueberry today too. I don't have enough hands to hold these up, gang. Here's blueberry. Dangerous. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? Sure. And we did apricot today. This is what we made today. Aside from topping up the liqueurs, right? Fantastic. This was a good liqueur session. Put it on top of the cherry. Put it on top of the cherry. Okay, let's do. Let's do. Here, we'll put it on top of the cherry. Where do you put this guy? We can't put the sign on top of that guy. It's too dangerous. We don't want things to fall down. Oh my god. Oh, dangerous, 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 dangerous. We'll leave it like this. This is what we made today. Right? Pretty good pretty good the apricots I can't wait to try out same with the raspberry and the orange <laughs> thumbnail moment <laughs> nice 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 fun so we use this thumbnail right we got a good one we got a good one let's put these guys down Fantastic. Oh, we gotta put the raspberry, raspberry symbol on it. Raspberry. So what I'll end up doing after this right now is uh, uh, homemade moonshine. <laughs> Need to put it on the soup on the market. That <laughs> dream would be fun, <laughs> sure. So uh, I actually had a friend that used to make moonshine. It's uh, it's dangerous. Moonshine is dangerous. If you're not careful, explosions happen. So you have to be careful. Chicho could probably make a good amount of money with a fruit liqueur booth at a farmer's market. The problem is in Canada, you need serious licensing, right? The licensing alone would be thousands upon thousands of dollars maybe maybe we offer it uh, at some point when we need to raise funds we do and uh, maybe we do but again uh, centralized power right they they create monopolies by requiring so much licensing that it's it's impossible for just a regular Joe Blow to enter the scene right friends network for sure ruffle basket yeah <laughs> yeah friends network for sure so we'll 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 see we'll taste these maybe i'll go get little bottles and uh we'll do something so you guys can have a sample of these maybe okay we'll figure it out remind me later and we do okay 
I have an uncle, Coolio says, I have an uncle with friends in the backwoods of Kentucky. He gave me my fur my family homemade moonshine and it's so strong that we only bring it out at family gatherings and usually one sip is enough to make everyone put in put, put it back on the shelf yeah moonshine is crazy strong right and if it's not done right it could be seriously damaging but moonshine you shouldn't be just drinking it straight up you should dilute it with water or something else like i don't think so i don't unless you're a crazy hardcore drinker you really don't want to drink just moonshine raw it's it'll put a hole through your stomach anytime you want to do something the government give me my share yeah or the government protect the monopolies the licenses is given to other people right close the door joe blow can't go right elder god friends and family <laughs> moonshine's your power animal hilarious gang that was a fun stream thank you for being here i loved it we got ourselves a good supply of liqueur very good supply of liqueur fantastic if you want to know who i am uh by the way mods thank you for taking care of business uh thank you for being here chat thank you for the conversations thank you for the discussions thank you for the follows thank you for subscribing thank you for everything really right if you want to know who i am i am on patreon if you want to follow this work patreon.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o you can support this work through patreon if you have the means to support this work i don't put anything behind paywalls everything creative commons share and share alike so you can just follow and you'll see everything that I'm sharing I'm uploading and the direction that we're taking right and if you do like what we are doing supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to support this project we are live streaming this on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat live and see the chaos of a wave of hellos coming through twitch is where you want to be at and gang on twitch thank you for the follows thank you for the subs mods again thank you for taking care of business and being here okay we do announce these live streams on twitter gabs mines vk lo and parlor it's part of our decentralization on multiple platforms and we share as much as we can on those platforms all the links will be in the description of this video for the live streams where we're just doing open discussions talking about politics economics whatever it might be relationships and we've done a lot of everything really personal finance and whatnot movies and music the audio will be on soundcloud soundcloud.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o okay and if you will be listening to some of those podcasts on soundcloud i hope you're enjoying them okay and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bitchute everything goes on bitchute technical difficulties permitting and as much as we can censors permitting on youtube and if you are on youtube you can support this project by joining youtube membership and on bitchute and youtube liking sharing commenting and participating okay aside from that gang uh three more days of live streams we got set up movies we do tomorrow i believe COVID we do on wednesday i believe or politics on wednesday and then covid or politics on thursday morning check our schedule on um, patreon the schedule is up on patreon you might have to scroll down a little bit because i do announce these live streams a couple of days before we start a set and they will be on our discord page under schedule so you can definitely join our discord and check out the schedule to know what's coming up okay and the link again will be in the description of this video gang i hope you guys have a fantastic monday a fantastic start to your week and just looked wednesday is COVID, thursday is current events awesome thanks coolio so wednesday night we're going to be talking about COVID. uh follow-up of discussions we've had for the last few months looking at data and whatnot on COVID. and thursday morning we're doing a current events live stream fight club explains jazz <laughs> gang hope you have a fantastic week we'll talk later bye everyone